The first time I attempted making eggless churros, my batter turned out to be too thick that I was not able to pipe it at all. The second time when I tried it, the churros literally disintegrated into the oil. Matlab churros chur chur ho gaye. In my third attempt, the churros held their shape but were very uneven and turned out to be super crispy in texture like our milk rusk which was again not right. Finally, in the fourth attempt, we have beautifully brown churros with crispy exterior and soft interiors with that cinnamon sugar coating dipped in hot chocolate sauce. Oi, 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 maza gaya bhai. To make these perfect churros, we start with preparing the chocolate sauce, which is basically ganache in a 1 is to 1 part ratio. So, in a saucepan, bring the cream to a boil. I am using Amul fresh cream here. Then pour it over the chopped chocolate using a combination of milk and dark but you choose your favourite. Then let it sit undisturbed for a minute and then stir to make a homogeneous mixture. This is the basic chocolate sauce recipe. You can bring so many variations to this by adding some chilli powder or some lemon or orange zest or some Nutella. The options are endless. For now, let us set this aside while we work on making the actual batter. For this, let us start by sifting the dry ingredients which includes flour and baking powder. In my first attempt, I used a 1 is to 1 ratio of flour and water like we do for a shoe pastry and hence my batter turned out to be too thick to pipe. The mistake was using metric measurements so to correct it, I used 1 cup that is 120 grams of flour and 1 cup that is 250 ml of water in this recipe which resulted in the perfect consistency. So that was my mistake number 1. Um, so now that our dry ingredients are sifted, let's get back to making the wet ingredients for which in a saucepan bring the water and butter to a rolling boil. Note here that the butter is cubed down which helps it to melt faster without losing too much moisture. I would recommend as much as possible to weigh your ingredients for this recipe. The reason why my churros disintegrated into oil which was my second mistake was because of using too much butter. So do make a note of it. As of now, once the water and butter mixture comes to a rolling boil, reduce the flame to low, add the dry ingredients and cook it till the starch is gelatinized using a wooden spoon. Basically, we are making a roux here, so do remember to stir it continuously. Cook it for a minute, which is enough. So I literally counted 1, 2, 3, 4 till 60 in my mind. Then take it out onto a plate, spread it a little for it to cool, spread it out to cool just a bit so that it is easier to handle. Too hot means you won't be able to pipe right that's why we allow it to warm a bit but while that is warming up on the side heat some oil in a pan to deep fry the churros I also have some caster sugar and cinnamon so mix them to make the cinnamon coating for the churros once fried. Get your piping bag ready by adding the star nozzle. Use only star nozzle because it gives the dough the perfect riches which not only makes it look pretty but the main purpose of it is to make the fried churros turn crispier in texture. This was my third mistake when I used French dip that made the churros turn into rusk. Now take the warm batter in the piping bag and once the oil is hot enough, simply squeeze them on top of the hot oil. I found it to be a bit risky because of the splattering of oil when the batter is dropped down like this and also it becomes a little bit messy to clean so I prefer piping on parchment paper and then frying them. This way the shape is also pretty even and so is the height of each churro. If you note I am actually struggling to pipe the batter here. In that case what I did was I took the batter out of the piping bag, simply added little hot water to the dough and mixed it to loosen it up. Just about a tablespoon of water at a time, not too much or else the dough would become liquidy and would not be fit to pipe. After mixing little water, it becomes easier to pipe. See the footage that you can see here is of me piping through the French tip which makes the batter look uneven. So use only star nozzle which I did later on. Fry the churros until slightly golden brown because they cook a little further as they cool and over frying would make the churros hard from the inside like in my previous failed attempts. And if you can note uh, this particular shaping of churros looks so pretty right that's because of using star nozzle. I am repeating it again and again so that it gets stuck in your mind nothing else. 
Another tip is to always fry the churros in small batches. At any given time, do not fry more than three to four strips. Overcrowding the pan reduces the temperature of the oil and results in uneven frying. So once done, take it onto a colander like this so that the oil drips out but the churros still remain crisp. While the churros are still warm, dip them in cinnamon sugar mixture to coat them. Too hot means when once you add the churros to the sugar, the sugar would melt. It would clump together, stick as a lump on top of your churros and it won't look pleasant and the coating would be uneven in short and if the churros is too cold that means the sugar won't stick at all and voila that's your perfect batch of eggless churros done and dusted as mentioned more detailed information about all my mistakes and how I rectified it and how I achieved this recipe has been shared in the blog post so click the link in the description box for the same enjoy it with the prepared chocolate sauce oof that's pure nirvana anyways you can also add some chopped nuts for that crunch or also enjoy the churros plain without the sauce either way this fried goodness is pure heaven as i mentioned that you must try it at least once that's it for this one hit that like button if you found this video informative and hit that dislike button if you do not wish to see such content either way do subscribe to our channel for the love of baking i'll see you soon in my next one until then this is sushma signing off take care bye bye Very chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very chocolate. Very chocolate. Very chocolate. Very chocolate.